quite when we're looking at sustainable consumption and production, we're always trying to see what are the right solutions we need. And in this context, eco-inclusive enterprises is an extremely interesting reply for that. So why is it different? The sustainable consumption and production provides you with a policy framework, looking at how industry is behaving in the whole supply chain, value chain in the production system, and looking at the consumers and how we can change their habits. So that's why thinking about those enterprises that are caring about the communities in which they are operating, that are caring about the natural resources that are in their ecosystem, that what we call the eco-inclusive enterprise, can provide us really with a solution in a sense that they are facing the problem on the ground, they are grassroots enterprises with people living in specific contexts by providing a good quality of life for the people around them. So eco-inclusive will involve local jobs, will improve, improve conditions of women and girls in the area and will preserve the natural resources on which they live. And then we have there excellent elements for the policy framework. So usually SCP, Sustainable Consumption Production, is top down the way we look at it. Eco-inclusive enterprise is bottom up, bring it to the policy so they can reframe something that is implementable and realistic. So my vision for that, how we look at it in the future, is to make sure that when we talk about sustainable development, that's why we call it seed entrepreneurship for sustainable development, that policymakers and industry throughout the value chain look at the small and medium enterprises and in particular at the eco-inclusive ones.